In the previous videos, we learned more on interoperability between Revit, Synchro, and planning softwares. For now, we will assume that model came from Revit, not broken down on resources, and plan is not established, so we will do both resource creation and preliminary scheduling. First of all, in Revit, we need to readjust export settings before exporting model to Synchro. Open the 3D view, go to Edit tab, and click over Export settings. Uncheck the box for Create resource from 3D. And close. So let's export our model to Synchro again. And let's name it without resources. After the model has been successfully exported, let's open a new project in Synchro. Go to File, click New. Now we know that first of all we have to adjust main settings like working time, currency, and delimit us. Those were explained on the basic course. We will go ahead and import our Synchro project. Go to Navigator, External Data. Inside the External Data field, make right click, hit Import, Synchro project. Let's choose the project we exported earlier. Click Next, All comments default, and Import. As you can see from the output log, we've imported 3D entities, created more than 1000 3D entities. We've imported user field and values assigned to those user fields. The calendar company, task states and resource states, they came default, as well as appearance profiles. Click Finish. Let's go and inspect resources tab. This shouldn't be a surprise for us that the resource tab is blank. If we click over 3D objects, we can see our model here. And it is broke down on categories. Alike in Revit, we can see family categories in the project browser. Let me demonstrate the same view. So here in Revit, we have families, and below families, we have categories, such as doors, floors, furniture, generic models, mass, and so on. In the same way, Synchro group these elements by categories, selling, doors, floors, and so on. From 3D object panel, we can unload unnecessary objects. By doing that, objects will be released from RAM. You can select an object you'd like to unload, for example, topography and landing, with the control held, make a right click over them, choose load unload, and select unload selected. So this too will be unloaded from computer's RAM, but temporary. You can always bring them back again. In case we need to see some objects, but opaque, we can adjust their transparency settings. As an example, I would like to make our topography transparent. Select Topography Objects, go to 3D, Edit, and change 3D Objects color. Click over it, and open Custom. Now let's untick Use original transparency and set new transparency as 75%. Also, let's tick use original color texture. Okay, click escape a couple of times. And as you can notice, our topography become more transparent. One thing to mention is the way you applied color change, you can clear or change it. I mean, if you change transparency for a category, you won't be able to change one element later of the category. All settings should be changed from category again. For example, let's choose planting and apply the same transparency. Now, if we'll go ahead, select only one tree and change its transparency to original, it won't happen. So we need to change it for all category again. Although, if we select two objects, like two trees, go and change their transparency to 75%, and then if we would like to return once to its original transparency, we will be able to achieve it. Now let's create a large list of resources. To create resources from 3D objects, we'll be using resource wizard. But first of all, let's select our objects. With holding shift bottom down, select 
all resources. Go to the Assign Resources and click Resources with it. Choose Assign to a new resource and let's name it as House Project. Type is Material and Company is Default Company. Click Next. Choose the last option here, Add Resources Underneath Build Tree. Now pay attention that Syncro tells us that tree of the object tree is 4 levels deep. Now would actually mean to use 4th level. We will make it as 1 level deep. And finish. In the 3D view, hit over escape a couple of times and open the resources table. As you can see, our enlarged resource list has been established. If you select the walls, all walls will be selected in the 3D view. The same with windows columns, foundations, and so on. Even though we created our resources, we can still go back to 3D objects and change visibility of the 3D objects and their transparency.